All right, guys, today we are looking at the super secret Starfield apartment. Most players don't know about this. It's a location so secretive the game doesn't even tell you about it. You might have completed the game and think you've unlocked all of the apartments it's possible to unlock. From the luxurious New Atlantis high rise to the Aquila City Lodge, but chances are you haven't seen this one. And you could not be blamed one bit. I'm not going to even try to blame you for that because there is no indication it's even in the game. At no point does the game give you any information about this place. You have to actively seek it out, which is what we're doing in this video. And you know what's even weirder about this thing? You've probably already unlocked it. You just didn't even know about it. So if you loaded up the game right now, you might be able to go and claim your very own apartment ASAP. I will tell you exactly where this apartment is and give you the full tour of it, but first hit that subscribe button to subscribe to the channel and if you can help support me by kicking a few coins my way on patreon.com forward slash gaming with griff griffin thank you so much okay so where is the apartment located this apartment is located on the key which of course is the home base of the crimson fleet this is located here but there's one thing we have to do to get it to unlock and that is to do the crimson fleet quest line this consists of eight missions ending with a mission called legacy's end it does doesn't really take all that long but there is something important you need to do during this quest line and that side with the crimson fleet if you side with the uc and captain akande you will not have access to the apartment if you however side with the crimson fleet you will get this free apartment so it's definitely worth doing that and if you're playing on a paragon playthrough just put your morals on hold for this one maybe so but the crimes of a so no I will not comply. I believe the galaxy is safer without you. Take her down. Now, if you have already done this quest line and sided with the Crimson Fleet, you have already got this apartment, so there's nothing more you need to do. I'll tell you how to actually find it in just a bit, but before then, if you're a bit lost and needed help actually starting the Crimson Fleet quest, no worries, all you have to do is commit a crime in New Atlantis. So shoot somebody or steal something, and this will prompt a UC guard to come up and arrest you. You will then be automatically transported to a UC prison ship where you can strike a deal with Captain Ikande to go and work undercover at the Crimson Fleet. This basically just starts the faction questline. Now, what about the decision of who to side with? When exactly do you get to make this decision? This decision happens during the Eye of the Storm mission, which is the seventh of eight missions. You're basically asked who you want to give a data bank to, the UC or the Crimson Fleet. Now, obviously, you know which one to choose here if you want to side with the Crimson Fleet. You want to give the data bank to the Crimson Fleet. The UC will get nothing from you. They had their shot and they missed it. It's Crimson Fleet all the way. Choose them and you'll get an apartment. The best thing is it's entirely free so you don't have to save up your credits and splash out. Just do the quest line and make the right choice. Not necessarily the most moral one, but the right one in terms of free real estate and the apartment is yours. But you're probably wondering where exactly it is on the key you need to go to. To find it, first of all, all you have to do is go to the command room, which is located here. Now, go and talk to Neva, who is here. She'll gift you the room entirely for free, along with an extra little freebie. Now we're back to the planning phases. Thanks for making me look good. I would have had to kill you otherwise. I'm not going to say I predicted this, but after the rake job, I knew you were a keeper. I didn't tell you then because I didn't want it to go to your head. <laughs> There's no containing it now, though. Are you kidding? You saved the fleet. I don't know if you're a captain, but you damn sure ain't no rook. And here's the key to prove it. No more sleeping in a bunk outside the Nova. You get a room, the gear, the whole nine. Congrats. Damn, do you ever sleep? Aren't there roses you could be smelling somewhere? Look, I know what Dale said, but if you ask me, I think your next move should be to head down to the Nova and get yourself a drink. You've more 
than earned it. We'll talk later. Yes, that is right. Not only do you get a free apartment, but a free outfit as well. You can swan around your apartment in your free little outfit, feeling like the ultimate real estate mogul. So I'm going to leave you with a full tour of the secret Starfield apartment, but I want you to do just one thing. If you didn't know about this apartment until now, leave a like on the video. That would be very much appreciated. And also subscribe for more Starfield guides. Thanks for watching. See you later. for the Crimson Fleet. <sighs> changes are coming, Gail. Huge changes. The Crimson Fleet will soon be a much bigger player in this little game between the members of the settled systems. That's quite a bold statement. Would you care to elaborate? Well, let's just say that I'm on the brink of a score so large it makes everything else pale in comparison. Beyond that, You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> if you aren't willing to discuss the details, why grant SSNN this interview? Simple. I refuse to allow the UC to spin or bury the story, making it sound like they're in complete control of the situation. I'm gonna tell you right now, they aren't. Why does the Crimson Fleet need to make this mysterious move that you're being so evasive about? <laughs> <laughs> I know Sistef instructed you to draw this meeting out as long as possible. So let me sum this up. I intend to make sure that the Crimson Fleet becomes the United Colony's worst nightmare. And nothing, I mean nothing in this universe, will stop me from achieving that goal. There are those that would disagree with you and claim this interview is grandstanding, or worse, a recruitment tool. After all, SSNN reaches every corner of the settled systems, and your aspirations could inspire the Directionalist to turn to the fleet. You and the sheep that listen to your garbage can believe whatever the hell you want. If you were so worried about what I had to say, you wouldn't have allowed yourself to be brought here. Things were bad. 